What's up guys, welcome to your second tutorial in PHP. This time I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually write some PHP, finally. So, now that you got your little notepad set up, and your browser, I'm using Firefox, and you got everything running, you're ready to go, you're ready to start writing some PHP. And if you don't know how I got all of this set up, or you don't have Apache installed, then what are you even doing watching this video? Go watch my first one. Sorry. Anyways. To write PHP, you need to start with PHP tags. Now if you start writing HTML tags and start typing some PHP code in here, it's not going to work. You need a special PHP tag. And that's this. A less sign, question mark, PHP and for the end you put question mark greater than sign and any code anything we're going to be learning is going to go in between here we say uh... can i type some out here maybe maybe down here no you can't don't even think about it type all we're going to be learning in between the beginning and the end php tag now I know you guys are just itching to write something, your first PHP code. So, first thing I'm going to teach you is how to output some basic text. Just write text on the screen. And to do that, inside your PHP tags, here's what you write. Echo, quotation marks, write whatever you want. I wrote this as text. Then a semicolon. You always end your lines in PHP with a semicolon. Now, if you save it, refresh your page, you can see that it outputted this is text. That's what the echo does, it just outputs whatever it is to the screen. Now, anytime you have text, you want to put it in between quotation marks. But anytime you have a number, say you wanted to write the number 32, 32 you don't put it in quotation marks so again text goes in quotation marks numbers don't put them in quotation marks now if you're saying uh... yeah that's pretty uh... uh... i'm trying to think of a word that isn't gonna offend people but it's pretty dumb uh... why wouldn't i just write thirty two thirty two right on the screen i'm not that stupid so i know this is kind of a basic function in php but I needed you idiots to learn this first. Once you get this done, we can begin moving on to something a little more complicated. And this is called a variable. And this is actually a huge part of PHP. And in case you forgot from 7th grade algebra or biology class or whatever, a variable is just anything that holds the place of something else. For example, we could use it to store information or value or something else. But it's easier just if I just started showing you guys what it was. So, all variables in PHP start with a dollar sign. So you put the dollar sign and then you type in your variable's name. I'll, I'll type some text. Now, after you have your variable, you have to set it equal to something. So you use the equal sign. And we'll set this equal to Harry Potter. Again, it's text. Put it in quotation marks. End it with a semicolon. So now I have a variable, some text, that has the value Harry Potter. Potter. Oh, man, that was embarrassing. So now... If we save this, nothing would show up on the screen because we're telling PHP not to do anything yet. We just said that we have this variable named some text, and it has Harry Potter. That's what that's what the value is. So now, if we wanted to actually display this, we would just type echo dollar sign some text. Now, if we saved it and refreshed it, we can see Harry. Potter now showed up on the screen. So again, we said, hey PHP, we got this variable, 
and its name is Harry Potter and now we want to echo it on the screen why its name echo instead of just say or display I don't know but it's called echo for some reason now now that we know how to use a basic variable but say we had another variable that we wanted to combine so we have Harry Potter and then we have another variable named sum number we'll set this equal to 32 again why not end it with a semicolon and say you wanted to combine these two variables so to do this you need to use a dot anytime you use a period it joins the two variables so right now we'll type echo some text period mean join this with the variable some number now what we're telling print on the screen Harry Potter, because that's what the value of this is, plus 32. Save it. As you can see, we now have Harry Potter, 32. Now, if you're still thinking, all right, this all is pretty useless. I could have just done this just by typing it into Microsoft Word. All right, I admit, this is pretty basic right now, but you're going to be learning how to use this and how to use variables to store stuff that is pretty useful so again pay attention go over this tutorial until you actually figure out how to use variables words are in quotations numbers aren't and you join it with dot now watch my next tutorial see ya